Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Leo love prediction reading for December 13th through December 19th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space as well. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I would be most humbled, most honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Please keep in mind that the first five cards I laid down are just a general overview. The second part of the reading is where you get the true story that the spirit guides want you to know. So if this is your read, take a moment, sit back, relax, and listen to the entire read. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, loyal, kind, sweet Leos. Show me with the spirit guides. What's going on with my Leos? My lovable Leos. Show me spirit guides. What's going on with my loyal, lovable Leos? Let's see Leos. What you got going on? Queen of Wands, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Hanged Man, and the Three of Cups. Looks like a celebration to me, Leo. But let's start at the beginning here. You got the Queen of Wands, which could very well be you showing up. But whatever this energy is, it's all about, I'm going to get mine. I'm moving to the next level. This is all about a Queen of Wands is a person that is um, a very attractive person. Um, everybody knows this person. When they walk in, uh, people know them. But what's interesting about this reading, I'm just going to tell you what I see. The Queen of Wands is fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius. But it's paired next to the Emperor, and the Emperor could be an Aries person as well. So it could be a Leo and an Aries together, and it's two fire signs together, which is really, really a very, very good thing. Now, the Emperor wants to control, but it's hard to control that Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands kind of does her own thing because... She is what she is, and she doesn't take anything. She doesn't sit back. She's not a behind the. Uh, she doesn't sit behind anyone. You can't control that energy when it comes to a Queen of Wands. But here's the deal: you have met your match, whoever this is. You've met your match, and you want to marry them because a the Hierophant card, which could be a Taurus person as well, it could be anyone. But this is just the zodiac signs that are showing up on the board. But it could be um, a Taurus person. But the Hierophant is all about marriage. This is about marriage. You have met your match with this Queen of Wands and this Emperor coming together. Now, you might have a little bit of a uh, friction going on because each one wants to control the other. But as far as I see with this, you have met your match. This is someone that you cannot control and you like it. Because this is what you've been looking for. Everybody else you can walk over. Not this Emperor. Not that energy. That Emperor energy is like, uh uh oh no, don't come here with that and mess with me. They don't take that. And you like that and you see them as a potential partner. Now, the hangman energy means that you are sticking right there, too. You just waited for this. You, the hangman means it's a pause. It's a pause. You waited patiently because you knew that this was something that could move to something, a, a marriage. Because what you wanted ultimately, which is in the middle of your reading, is a marriage. And I do believe perhaps... I'm going to keep reading, not quite sure, because that hangman kind of throws me just a little bit because it's an energy of just sitting there, just waiting. But it's almost like you waited for this person. And there, here's, here's the Three of Cups, which is celebration, having a good time, party. I'm not sure what that party is, though. I don't know if it's, uh, uh, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is continue to read to see if the spirit guides will let me know. So if you can, sit back, relax, and let me clarify the cards and find out what exactly is going on here. Other than what I see is a marriage. So let's see. Or someone that you have met your match with. I don't know if it's if you actually have um, asked for their hand in marriage yet. I don't know what's going on, but you have met your match with this person. So let's see what the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Spirit Guys, show me why the Queen of Wands is here. Show me Spirit Guys. Oh my, oh my, yes, oh yes, oh yes. This is someone with that Four of Wands. That Four of Wands is all about um, engagement, soulmate. You have met your match. 
Yeah, you've met your match with this person. That four of wands is definitely you. you you're like, this is because, you know, it's usually all only about you. Right, Leo? But this person, hey, they don't let you get away with anything. And you have met your match. And it's almost like you're like oh, taking it back, but loving it. <laughs> you like the way they put you in your place. So let's see. Why is this emperor here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the emperor here for my Leos? Show me why the emperor is here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, they bring you great joy. They bring you happiness. You're on, your, your heart is on fire. This person, hey, this person does it for you. They're not a pushover. You can't push them over. You can't walk on them. They are exactly what you need and what you wanted. You want to marry this person. The emperor could be an Aries, but you want to marry this person. Yes, you do. So let's see why the Hierophant is here. Show me why the Hierophant is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Hierophant here? Wow. Nine of Cups. This is all about you being happy. You being happy. You feel like this person makes you happy. This person puts your heart. Your heart is... I don't even know what to say other than this is someone that you are very content with. Um, <laughs> what else can you say other than... You found your match. You've met your match in a good way. You found your match. Let's see why this hangman is here. Not quite sure why this hangman is here. I know you're content. I know that they bring you goodness. I know that your heart is on fire for them with that Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is all everything to you. They mean everything. They check all your boxes. Everything to you. So let's see why the hangman is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the hangman here for my Leos? Show me, spirit guys. Okay. Why did they break your heart? Oh, boy. So, I think that the hangman is here because I don't necessarily think that they broke your heart. I see someone else may have broken your heart. And you're still in this energy. You're not releasing. You're still in this energy. I'm going to read for this next card, this Three of Cups, to see what happens. But I think that you're just a little bit apprehensive, a little bit afraid. But you know you've met your match. But the hangman is here. I mean, you're stuck in this energy of heartbreak. Or also, I'm, I'm seeing two different things. Maybe there's someone else, too, that's in your in your love space as well. Maybe not someone else so much with heartbreak, but just another person that's there. And I no, I think that that person broke your heart. I do. I think they broke your heart. And I think that's why it's difficult for you to move on. Even though you have this Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, like I said, is you're, you're content with this person. You're content with being married to them, but you're still thinking about someone that broke your heart. Someone that, that that broke your heart and that scares you, that concern, that scares you. That's why you're still stuck in that energy. So let's see why the Three of Cups is here. Show me why the Three of Cups is here. Show me why the Three of Cups is here for my Leos. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Three of Cups here for my Leos? Oh, the moon. There's some confusion going on. You want to move forward with this three of cups. You want you, you're trying to it's almost like you're trying to ignore this person with that three of cups. You're going out and doing your dipping and doing and doing your thing. And you're almost trying to ignore this person. But you all they, they're on your mind all the time. There's nothing your heart, your mind. You are in an illusions. You're just having um, crazy thoughts. And I mean, you just don't you don't even know. You can't figure out which way to go. You're in confusion when it comes to this. Now here, let's look at the beginning. Queen of Wands. This is someone, like I said, a fire sign. Could be you, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But it's also on the hop here is four of wands. They bring you great joy. They're your soulmate. There's someone you, you need to possibly be with. Perhaps you're thinking marriage. This is an engagement here. Then the emperor here. And the emperor is that you've met your match. These are two fire signs. Uh, Aries, you've met your match. They bring you great joy, great peace, great. But you know what? You can't control them. You can't control them, and that's what turns you on more than anything else. Ten of Cups means happy home, happy wife, happy life, happy kids, everything. They bring you great joy, just love and joy. And you want to marry them, and you are content with them, but something is still hanging there. That hanged man, you have been heartbroken by someone, and you haven't let it go yet. You can't move to the next level until you release this. You can't move to the next level until you release this. You're trying to go on about your business with this Three of Cups.